Welcome to my channel, my name is Kim and if you're new here, welcome. Today's video is going to be my, my 2020 reflections and my 2021 intentions. So basically, I'm just going to go through and reflect on all the things that happened to me in 2020 and then I'll give my intentions um, for 2021. And also, I'm filming outside so please ignore any random sounds or anything um it's getting to be like nighttime so i'm going to try to do this um the best that i can and hopefully i get this done before the lighting gets all weird so without further ado let's get into the video actually i have one thing for you to do Actually, I have something that I would like you to do. If you could go ahead and press that like button, let me know if you like this type of video, if you want to see more. Also, if you could hit that subscribe button, that would be great. And hit the notification bell so you're notified every time that I post a new video. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So I have my handy dandy sheet paper here. Um, I kind of just wrote down like briefly. I don't know if you can see, it's very messy because you know, it's my thoughts and <laughs> if you know me my thoughts are so scattered um but we're gonna start with my 2020 reflection so the first thing i wrote um just to some backstory 2020 has been so freaking weird i think that is like across the board for every person nobody is gonna say 2020 was a, such a normal year for me because it wasn't 2020 really shook up everybody and i feel like for me it wasn't normal even before the whole coronavirus pandemic thing happened so i don't know 2020 is just started out for me very very interesting um a lot of things happened that i'm sure i'll talk about in other videos but yeah so in 2020 i turned 24 years old and um i had kind of this at the beginning of quarantine i basically had like this three month period of insanity like guys it was so crazy i definitely will do a video on it i was like wild and out like it was so crazy so from like i want to say from like march until the beginning of may uh yeah i had like a wild couple months like i was just living the best sinful life there was like wow those three months were freaking crazy so um after that 2020 became this very like self-realization type of journey and it was more like okay i need to get my life together and then the second so i would say the first half of 2020 was super crazy and like uh girl what you doing and the second half really like i've really like embraced just who i am what i deserve and kind of the things that i need and so yeah if you don't know so in 2020 I already said I turned 24 and um, I was working as a flight attendant, I quit my job as a flight attendant and I went back to school. I am currently in school studying communication disorders. I want to be an audiologist so I am in school for that. I'm about to complete my undergrad and then apply for grad school. You guys will come along on that journey with me. Um, what else do? I got my first apartment me and my son we live on our own now i have an apartment i pay rent it's so so crazy but yeah so um that happened and i just kind of found out like who's really for me and to be honest i've just seen god's goodness in ways that i just honestly could not imagine that i was seeing and i just want to say like while 2020 has been so crazy and so different for a lot of us that um god has really just blessed not only me but my family and just keeping us safe and protected and um watching over us and like favor i've learned really is not fair and the grace and favor that i've received this year is unexplainable and i definitely did not deserve it especially like i said how i was acting in the beginning of the year like 
definitely did not deserve it but to know that he that god like still loves and cares for us and wants the best for us even in the middle of our mess is just one of the things that has really made 2020 so beautiful for me so anyways that's kind of like the overview of 2020 but let's get into like my reflection the first thing that i guess i um am reflecting on in 2020 is that i learned like who my true friends were um i entered the year with people in my life who i thought would be there for the long haul like and i thought that they would like really have my back and like truly be like the definition of a true friend to me and um yeah i'm leaving the year you know a a, a couple of people later <laughs> and um honestly this kind of happened towards the it happened um in the beginning of the year but also it just happened like recently towards the end like november and it's been really hard because i i love people like when i love and i bring people into my life like i want them to be there for the long haul and so i've just been learning that like not everybody's for you not everybody is meant to um Everybody is meant to continue life with you um and there's a really great clip if i can find it i'll insert it um from tyler perry is he's playing medea and he talks about how you know some people are like leaves and some people are like branches but some people are your roots listen i put everybody come in my life in the category of a tree some people are like leaves on a tree the wind blow they over here they unstable Blow the other way, they over here. Ain't nothing. Season change, they wither and die. They gone. That's all right. That's some people. Most people in the world are like that. They just there to take from the tree. They ain't, they ain't there to do nothing but take and give shade every now and then. That's all they can do. But don't be, don't get mad at people like that. That's who they are. They ain't gonna never be nothing. That's what they put on this earth to be. But be what they are, a leaf. Some people are like a branch on that tree. You gotta be careful with them branches too, cause they'll fool you. You, they'll get there and make you think they're a good friend and they're real strong, but the minute you step out there on them, they'll break and leave you high and dry. But if you find you two or three people in your life that's like the roots at the bottom of that tree, you are blessed because that's them the kind of people that ain't going nowhere. Like, excuse me. And now I've really, this year has really just like shown me who the roots are in my life and i am like forever thankful for but that. um so this year i've really learned that um who is for you will be for you and even if you don't have anybody uh, there was years that i just like i really didn't have any like close friends and it was just me and god rocking out and you know what that's okay and also as i'm getting older um my parents are a great resource for me and i feel like being a parent myself and just getting older like my parents are honestly becoming my closest friends um and i'm really really thankful because i have like literally a godsend friend like i i pray her into my life and um she's absolutely the most wonderful friend i've ever had and i'm just when you know somebody matches your energy like she matches the energy i give and i just i love it basically what i'm saying is a reflection of this year has just been like knowing who my true friends are and making sure that i actually interview the people that are going to be a part of my life because these people not only affect me but they um how they influence me affects the way i parent the way that i live my life um and the things that i want to do um and i also want to just be careful like introducing people to my son um usually we just think of like romantic partners and i don't want him to have to go through that so i think um something that i work on and something an attention for 2021 is to just be really really intentional about the people that i bring around me and that should have make sure the people that are in my life are like really for me and that what i'm giving out i'm able to receive back from them the next reflection that i have is i as i reflect back on 2020 i realize that I really don't didn't and still I'm figuring out my worth and what I deserve 
there's a lot of instances and a lot of things that I took um and not just in 2020 but 2020 really showed me like girl you need to get it together <laughs> I learned that like I deserve more than what I was getting and I'm worth more than what people were trying to pay and um it always reminds me of this meme that I see and it's like this girl sitting on top of a thing I'll insert it um but she's basically like you want me to come down there like no I'm not coming down I'm not coming down and I feel like for so long I've been lowering myself down to meet people where they're at instead of um having them come meet me where I'm oh. at I have learned that no is a complete answer and no period like that's a complete answer there doesn't have to be any explanation there doesn't have to be any um there doesn't have to be any extra uh, like if i say no that's it it period on um, period okay um so no is a complete answer that's something that i've really learned in 2020 um and that i plan to utilize in 2021 I realized how capable I am to do things and it's not me it's the God within me that it, it allows me to be able to do the things that I want to do like um, a lot of y'all don't know but this was my first semester back at school after four years and it was honestly so scary <laughs> um, but I completed the semester all A's 4.0 GPA and while that's not like to chew my own horn or brag because if you didn't do those things at least you you know if you made it past the semester like hey if you're back in school hey that's great but for me it was like I've always been like a top tier student and it was really scary for me to like go back to school because it's like I don't know if I still got it like I have a whole kid now and I have life and there's uh, I I struggle with depression and anxiety so it was like how can i do this by like completing it and then seeing like my teachers or my professors and how they like encouraged me and how they really cared about their students and especially going back during a pandemic um it's been really great to be able to see like hey i can do this like i am capable and that's something that my therapist has been working on with me is like being like you are capable you can do these things and i'm realizing it's not me that's doing these things it's the god in me doing these things and allowing god to work through me to be able to glorify him on the things that i do that makes me capable um and it reminds me of um philippians 4 13 i can do all things through christ who strengthens me and that makes me capable because god lives in me i can do all things i have resurrection power within me so that means that that same power that rose christ from the dead i get to use every day and that makes me more than capable um the next thing is god will do more um another verse that has just been kind of especially towards this end of the year um has been just egging me on is that god will do exceedingly abundantly more than you can ask think or imagine let me tell y'all god has been blowing my mind this year i just it gives me goosebumps to think that the stuff that I was doing honestly at the beginning of the year I could I should honestly I could be dead I could have contracted COVID like all of these things could have happened but by God's grace and his mercy like he kept me and then just I'll probably put like a testimony video up later on about how like I got my apartment and everything how this whole college thing even came about I'll um make a video about that but like guys if you just know that story like it's so crazy how God just put all the pieces together and how it's all worked out and I just have to say he's literally done more than I could ever ask for like it's just it's mind-blowing and it's really just one of those things where you're like god is so good and even if he didn't do all those things he's still doing more just by keeping me i um, mean with breath in my body keeping me in my right mind like those things are just priceless while 2020 has been hard it's just made the year a lot easier to know that like yeah i don't have control but 
my God is in control and I can rest in the fact that he will take care of everything. Something I learned is that I am a giver, like, but this kind of goes back to like knowing my worth and like with friends and things. It's just what I give, I should be able to receive. Um, and I said givers need love too, because what I give out, I need to be that needs to be poured back into me. And yes, God can pour back into me, but also like I need to have mutual beneficial relationships in my life where I give love, you give me love back, you know. And it's not like I'm doing and I'm learning not to do things for like I'm not giving you this to receive something back but I am doing this because I love you and because you love me you should yes you should give back to me the way that I maybe not the same way that I give to you but you should show me other ways like that's what I'm talking about mutual beneficial relationships like I give you this you give me this if I vent on the phone to you you know you can vent on the phone to me it's not like I'm always calling you venting and then when you need help like I just am like yeah no we don't want we don't want that kind of thing so this is like the last thing that I kind of realized about 2020 is that I spend a lot of time on my phone um, I average about 10 hours on my phone to give me. That's a lot of time. A lot of time. And I'm not even doing anything. Like, I'm either scrolling on Facebook or Instagram or I'm on Snapchat. Um, I do read books on my phone. So, like, for those, like, I, obviously, like, I spend a lot of time reading on my phone. So, I'm like, okay, that's not bad. But the other majority of the time is, like, just doing mindless things. And I realized that like it takes me away from being present in the moment with people that I love. I guess this leads into the intentions part of what I plan to do and what my intentions are for 2021. So my first intention is to be present in the moment. Um, I want to be able to be present with my my family my friends and so something that i plan on doing an intention for 2021 is to um limit my phone time yeah. is, is i plan to have sunday be a kind of no phone day like i'm not going on social media i'm not going to be posting anything looking at anything um i'm just really going to take a break from my phone I'm like a reset day where i just you know i'm in the presence of god and i'm really present with my um my son my family and whatever i'm doing that day um also one of the ways that i want to combat um being on my phone is going to the library more i haven't been going because of covid but i am gonna start going back and like getting physical books um so that i can read an actual book instead of reading on my phone um because i don't know about y'all but i've been getting like these awful headaches and i know it's from being on my phone uh, or looking at my computer screen and so and just any ways that i can like get my time off my phone down is what i plan on doing in 2021 the next intention that i have for 2021 is um my intention is to be single all year all 2021 um that sounds crazy and like if you know me you're like um girl you are single okay i'm single but like <laughs> i'm talking single single like basically 2021 will be like a fast from boys or abstaining from boys um yeah i just feel like i really just need a year to like focus on myself focus in on god focusing on my family my goals um getting like my debt down just things like that preparing myself to welcome in the, the man that i want in my life and so yeah that's my intention for 2021 is to be single all year no sneaky links no texting buddies like single that's that's what we're doing <laughs> <laughs> I'll check in in case know how it goes but yeah um, my next intention is to go outside for at least 10 minutes every single day um I just think fresh air is really important and also getting vitamin d is like 
super super important so that's one of my intentions and along with that is um moving my body for at least 20 minutes a day um going on a walk doing a yoga class um i'll put a yoga class that i like um a yoga teacher that i love um i know her personally she's really great i'll link her in the um, description box below but um her name's yoga with keith and i just feel like hers are just they're very different she incorporates hip-hop with the yoga and i love that so like you know just move my body whether it's doing squats before i shower or whatever just moving my body for 20 minutes and going outside for at least 10 minutes breathing in some fresh air and getting some vitamin d that's my intention. The next intention that I have is to be making, I plan to make content. I don't know what schedule I'm gonna follow yet because I am gonna be going to school full time and I'm also a full time mom. So, you know, things happen. But I plan to really like take off of this channel and just really make it my own and to come out with new ideas and to do things. I already have a lot planned like i literally have a list on my phone of like video ideas that i want to film and i wish i could do it all right now and just put it out but i know i need to be strategic about it and yeah i just want to make content i want to save up for a camera to be able to provide you with better quality content because right now i'm filming on my phone but like i need it to start this channel this channel has been six years in the making maybe longer than that i've been wanting to start a channel since like my junior year of high school and i'm just now finally doing it so i'm very excited so that is one of my intentions for 2021 also i really the last two things kind of go hand in hand um my last intention is to just dig deeper and this kind of goes with the first one of being present i want to dig deeper in my relationships so my friendships with my son with my family with god i just really want to dig deeper and just get to know the people that are a part of my life and um just create these bonds and memories that we can have and i really just want to not only have that deeper relationship with the people around me and god but also with myself like next year i really think is the year to just find myself i really want to dive deep and discover like what who i am why i am the way i am and things of that nature so yeah those are my that is my 2020 reflection and my 2021 intentions let me know what you learned this year in 2020 and what your intentions are for 2021 leave them, leave in, the them in the comment section below i would love to read them and to talk to y'all and interact um i kind of want this to be like a community type of thing so yeah um it's getting dark <laughs> i'm sure you've seen the lighting changed thanks so much for watching this video i am literally so excited about um i know nobody is like is saying like i'm excited for 2021 it's gonna be my year but i really am excited for 2021 and i do believe that it's gonna be my year and it's gonna be a hard year i know because whenever you go back and you self-reflect and you're digging up your past so that you can better prepare for your future it's gonna be hard but in the end it's gonna be so so worth it and just knowing that god will be with me through it all um it's just even more comforting so yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up if you did remember to click that subscribe button and the notification bell but yeah i'll catch you guys in my next video so remember to let your light shine and to gladiate gracefully hey, hey, hey. Uh, shine.